The ground strap is a vital part that you may not know about. It can cause problems if it goes bad. In this short video, we will cover most of the symptoms of bad or broken ground strap. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get starting. Dashboard Warning Lights It can be challenging to determine what the car is trying to tell you with so many different dashboard warning lights. The battery warning light on the dashboard may appear with this issue, signaling that the battery is running low and won't charge properly. A poor ground strap, however, is not the only reason for this issue. Additionally, faulty wiring or an alternator may be to blame. Turn off all electrical devices, such as the radio and air conditioner, if you need to drive the car a little further when this light comes on. You can extend the battery's life a little bit with the help of this step. Flickering headlights. Flickering headlights are a problem that can be fixed, just like any other charging system issue. The electrical circuit faces more resistance when powering the headlights when the ground strap is damaged or not connected correctly. The end result is a gradual dimming or flickering sensation. If you only notice the flickering once, the ground strap may have become slack but was still securely in place. Most likely, the issue will persist, necessitating the replacement or tightening of the ground strap. Battery not charging properly. As was just mentioned, a damaged ground strap can cause the battery to stop charging. To charge the battery, the car needs to have a solid ground. Again, the ground strap is not the only cause of a dead car battery. It might legitimately be time to replace it, or your alternator might be failing. Because of this, it's crucial to conduct a thorough diagnosis before replacing anything. Problems starting your car. There are a lot of different causes for why your car won't start, but you should never rule out a bad ground connection. When attempting to start the car, you will hear tapping sounds if the ground is to blame. The starter solenoid, which frequently opens and closes, is the source of this noise. The starter cannot receive the proper voltage if there is an improper ground connection. However, a dead battery can also cause this. Low battery voltage. The ground strap may be malfunctioning if the electrical system in your car doesn't seem to be getting as much power as it should. You can determine the voltage output from the battery terminals using a digital multimeter. Without the car running, this reading should be around 12.6 volts. If it's less, you might have a dead battery or a grounding issue. Various strange electric problems. You might experience some electrical system issues if the ground is poor, especially if the system is working under a heavy load. For instance, you might observe that things become glitchy when your air conditioner and aftermarket stereo with a subwoofer are both on. You might notice that one of the functions doesn't get the power it requires if you try to use two things at once, like the power windows and the high beams. Any odd electrical issues should be investigated for a potential poor ground connection. How to test a broken negative cable. The ground strap should be visually inspected as your first test. Search for the simple black cable. It will be connected to the battery's negative terminal and the car's chassis. For damage, examine the entire cable. Electrical interference can be caused by even a small quantity. The ground connection that runs to the engine block is one of many in your car. Make sure you find them all and inspect them for damage. You can use a multimeter to check the connection if there isn't any obvious physical damage. The digital multimeter is inexpensive and useful for such diagnostics. Your car should be parked in a garage or another dry area. The area needs to be entirely dry. Select 20V direct current on your multimeter. Connect the black probe to the negative battery terminal and the red probe to the positive battery terminal of the battery. This value ought to be close to 12.6 volts. Connect the ground connection to the black probe. It should still display 12.6 volts. Anything substantially below that denotes a poor ground strap. The metal part of the engine block should be connected to your black probe. The engine's ground connection is being tested with this. Your service manual specifications should be followed. Replace or reconnect the cable if necessary if it doesn't. If your tests come up empty, you might want to look for a blown fuse, especially if the car won't start. You might also have a failing alternator if you experience intermittent electrical issues, flickering headlights, or trouble charging the battery. Hope the information was helpful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel. 